Hi folks, this is Charles Baudet, the nation's number one no BS safe mold expert, here with another video series on the fre most frequently asked questions about mold in your home. You can learn more information at www.safemoldsolutions.com. The first question of the day is, why does mold form and what makes it grow? Well folks, there are four things that are required for mold to grow in a home. The first is the presence of a spore or a seed. The second is a food source. And for mold to grow, it has to pick on something that was once alive. It likes to eat cellulose, which is the most basic building block of all vegetable plant-based matter. Third, it requires the right temperature. Most molds only like the same temperatures that we do. That is, somewhere between 25 and 90 degrees. While most molds grow between 40 and 90 degrees, there are some molds that will go, grow in colder temperatures called chrysophile molds, which mean the cold-loving ones. But if you mix all those first three ingredients up in a pot and stir them around, you still won't get mold until you add the fourth one, water. Water is the number one enemy of homes, and it's the number one most important factor in turning mold ingredients into mold soup. So folks, if you've got the right temperature, a mold spore, a food source, and water, you're always bound to grow mold. Secondly, what should you do if you find mold? Well, folks, that all depends on how much mold you find. If you've got a small patch of mold, a great homeowner's recipe for cleanup is to take one quart of pure hydrogen peroxide, that's the brown bottle stuff, take off the lid and add one to two healthy squirts of regular household dish soap. Never add any more water, because remember, brown bottle hydrogen peroxide is 97% water, 3% hydrogen peroxide. When you add the dish soap to the water, it relaxes the surface tension, which makes the water wetter. Go down to your Home Depot, buy a $40 P100 respirator and a pair of rubber gloves, squirt the area of mold liberally, wait 10 minutes, and then wipe it off. If you'd like to get rid of some of the pigments that are left behind, and remember, this is on a small area of mold, under one by two feet, two by two feet, and not more, then what you can do is once you've killed the mold, you can apply a sodium hypochlorite solution to sort of bleach out the stains. But remember, it doesn't actually kill the mold. I'm Charles Baudet, the nation's number one safe mold expert. You can have more information at www.safemoldsolutions.com and there you can get a copy of my book, Got Mold, Now What? A Basic Guide to Understanding and Correcting Mold in Your Home.